For several decades, Will Smith has remained one of the most in-demand actors in the world of cinema. And the Oscar goes to... Will Smith! This year, he finally received an Oscar for Best Actor, and it was truly a well-deserved award. The characters that Smith has created on screen are very diverse. As an actor, he is not limited to one specific role. He has been equally successful in comedies, action films, and dramas. It seems that nothing unites such different characters as Hancock, Agent J, and Muhammad Ali. How can one actor be so different, and what is the secret of his success? Let's try to understand. Smith began his career not as an actor, but as a successful hip-hop performer and showman under the pseudonym Fresh Prince. He even won a Grammy Award for Best Rapper. The turning point for Smith was his role in the sitcom The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where he played a fictional version of himself. His pop star charisma was perfectly displayed in the sitcom, which became a milestone in television history and predicted the dominance of rap in American mass culture. But the real breakthrough in Smith's career came in 1995 when he starred in the action comedy Bad Boys. He played a playboy with a sense of humor who was loved by all, and he filled this character with his signature charisma, rare organicity, and naturalness. He managed to be funny, serious, ironic, and heroic all at once. And then came his next role in Men in Black, which only cemented his star status and gave him a new scale. Here, he had entire solo comedic numbers, and the simplicity and charisma of an honest guy took on a completely new commercial appearance. It is the irony combined with extreme seriousness that adds a characteristic charm to the action films with Smith, and most importantly, it does not fade with time, as evidenced by the success of all three men in black movies. But Smith's most characteristic comedic role is, of course, Hancock the Loser Superman from the eponymous film. Smith played a charming slacker, a marginalized, brawler, and drunkard, and only incidentally a superhero. But it is precisely because of his negative qualities that this Avenger evokes such a wide range of emotions. The actor was no less impressive in showcasing his talent in another comic book movie, Suicide Squad. On one hand, he played the charismatic villain, Deadshot, who was a skilled marksman, and on the other hand, he infused this character with drama and internal conflict. Smith portrayed Deadshot as vulnerable, loving, and caring. Smith's comedic skills and musical experience came in handy in the role of Genie in Guy Ritchie's Aladdin. The actor had to compete with the legendary Robin Williams voiceover and imbued Genie with a new meaning within the strict confines of the animated character's portrayal. He succeeded in this task thanks to his energy and talent as a true showman. Smith's other qualities, such as his ability to exist on the edge, were showcased in his performances in intimate dramas. He excels at conveying extreme emotions through his body language and facial expressions. Michael Mann was the one who unlocked this aspect of Smith's talent when he cast him as the great Muhammad Ali in the biographical film of the same name. Smith was able to embody the nervous and conflicted boxer, portraying a hero who made difficult decisions in a time of radical change and extreme turmoil. This role set the tone for Smith's entire film career, as he became an exemplary performer of roles for neurotic characters. Whether he played the entrepreneur Chris Gardner in The Pursuit of Happiness or the father of the Williams sisters in King Richard, Smith's characters are always in extreme circumstances, such as trying to provide for their children, fighting for their rights, or wandering through the metropolis with a young son in search of shelter and food. And most importantly, in all of these situations, Smith always appears as authentic and believable as possible, conveying the same emotions and experiences as his characters, thanks to his natural charisma. Smith's ability to exist on the edge in extreme circumstances was especially evident in the dystopian sci-fi genre. In 1996, at the dawn of his film career, the actor starred in Roland Emmerich's blockbuster Independence Day as a brave pilot who resisted the alien invasion. In his early forays into the science fiction genre, Smith's characters suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. This was evident in the film adaptations of the classic science fiction novels I, Robot and I Am Legend, in which Smith's performance as a man on the verge of a nervous breakdown was nothing short of brilliant. Smith played a crucial role not only in cinema, but also in society, breaking down stereotypes about black actors and creating universal characters that were devoid of cliches. 
Few black actors have achieved such success and prominence in the film industry. Smith was a vocal advocate for the rights of black actors, and he boycotted the Oscars when no African Americans were nominated. He was one of President Barack Obama's most ardent supporters and even parroted him accurately. In his autobiography, he was not afraid to publicly discuss the darkest aspects of his personality, including family problems, thoughts of suicide, and experiments with psychedelics. Smith was known as one of the best scene partners, creating a trusting and creative atmosphere on set. He was one of the brightest stars of Hollywood in the late 1990s and early 2000s, but he was not immune to crises. It is known that he turned down the role of Neo in The Matrix for the failed Wild Wild West. He also declined the lead role in Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. However, the most significant crisis occurred in 2013 due to the failure of the science fiction drama After Earth, a story about a father and son who crash land on Earth in the 31st century. The film was based on Smith's original script, and the actor had planned to create several sequels, video games, comics, animated series, and even a social network in the film's universe. However, the franchise was cancelled when the studio lost millions on its release, and critics panned the weak script and Jaden Smith's lackluster performance. After a series of unremarkable roles, it seemed that Will Smith's star had forever set. However, he was able to overcome the inertia of his image and reinvent himself by taking on age-appropriate roles. His subtle work in King Richard showed that we still have much to learn about the actor's talent, and he is still capable of surprising us. Throughout his career, Smith has experienced both brilliant successes and setbacks.